Hi friends, let us discuss a few cyber security tools in this video. In this digital age, cyber security plays a key role to safeguard our data, mobile phones, websites, information, right? So let us try to understand a few cyber security tools and before that I would like to request you to subscribe to our SciTechWiz channel. This is a new channel so your help is very much appreciated, your help is very much required. So please do subscribe and please click like button whenever you like a video. Let us go to the topic. Friends, there are numerous cyber security tools available to help organizations and also individuals to protect their systems, networks and data from various cyber threats. So here we are discussing a few commonly used cyber security tools across different categories. Number one, firewalls. What is a firewall? Firewalls monitor and control incoming and outgoing network traffic acting as a barrier between a trusted internal network and external networks. For example, PFSense, Cisco ASA, Fortinet, FortiGate. These are all various firewalls. So if you know the names of any firewalls, please write down in the comment section. One more important point is normally Firewalls are used by organizations, not by individuals. Okay. Next, IDS, Intrusion Detection Systems, Intrusion Prevention Systems, IPS, IDS and IPS. So, IDS tools detect and alert any suspicious or malicious activity, whereas IPS tools actively block or mitigate such activity. So examples include Snot, Suricata and Cisco Firepower. These are all examples for IDS and IPS. Antivirus software. Of course, everybody might have heard about this. Antivirus software. It detects, prevents and removes malicious software such as viruses, worms and trojans. For example, uh, Norton, McAfee, Avast. These are all few examples for antivirus software. If you know the names of any other antivirus software, please write down in the comment section and let us know. Vulnerability scanners. These tools scan networks, systems or applications to identify security vulnerabilities that can be exploited. For example, Nessus, OpenVAS, Qualys, they have this feature, vulnerability scanning feature. These are all various softwares. SIEM, Security Information and Event Management, SIEM systems. So these SIEM systems or SIEM tools, they collect, analyze and correlate log data from various sources to identify security incidents and provide real-time threat intelligence. For example, Splunk, IBM QRadar and Elastic SIEM. These are all a few examples for SIEM tools. Even Splunk nowadays companies or developers they are using it as a logging tool like Log4j. But Splunk has more features. So try to explore that. SIEM is one of the best feature in Splunk. Encryption tools. Encryption tools, they provide secure communication and uh, data storage by converting data into an unreadable format that can only be decrypted with the proper keys. For example, uh, Veracrypt, BitLocker and OpenSSL. These are all few examples for encryption tools. Password managers. This is very important nowadays. So password managers securely store and manage passwords reducing the risk of weak or reused passwords. Examples include LastPass, Dashlane and KeePass, K-E-E-P-A-S-S, KeePass. These are all few examples for password managers where we can store and manage our passwords securely. Network Traffic Analyzers. These tools capture and analyze network traffic to identify anomalies, detect intrusions, and investigate security incidents. Examples include Wireshark, TCP Dump, 
and solar winds network traffic analyzer so these are all network traffic analyzers web application firewalls we call it as waf in shortcut wafs they protect web applications from common attacks such as xss what is xss it's a cross site scripting this is a attack so waf protects web applications from cross site scripting and sql injection sql injection is a type of cyber attack we will learn it in a different video with examples okay if you want to tell me about a few names of the softwares that provide waf mod security barracuda waf and cloud flare waf these are all various softwares that provide uh, web application firewalls data loss prevention shortcut we call it as dlp dlp systems or data loss prevention systems dlp tools monitor and prevent unauthorized data exfiltration or leakage ensuring sensitive information remains protected examples include semantic dlp mcafe dlp and digital guardian so friends these are just a few examples of the wide range of cyber security tools available so the choice of the tools depends on specific needs budget of course and the desired level of security for example an organization with crucial data like banking financial sector insurance they need to afford all these tools and many more cyber security tools to safeguard uh, the data because they have financial data of their customers but whereas an individual like me or like you what will we do we cannot afford huge budget for these cyber security tools but we can afford money for a few tools like antivirus software or vulnerability scanners we can do that right so it depends on the desired level of security that we are expecting so it's important to regularly update and maintain these tools along with implementing good security practices to ensure comprehensive protection against evolving cyber threats so friends we will discuss all these tools in upcoming videos in detail so please do subscribe to our sitequiz channel and please click like button if you really like our videos and express your opinions in the comment section thank you thanks a lot